All right, we've got boards back from PCB Way. Go check out my uh, share site there. Thanks again to PCB Way for supplying all the boards. Uh, we have boards, they're fun. They're very small, so I'm gonna have to zoom in. Ooh, I am zoomed in. I'm gonna have to lower down. Let's see if I can get, there we go, that's better. All right. Yeah, these are pretty tiny boards. Um, and I'll, I'll explain these things here in a second. Um, but uh, let's check out, let's check out, yeah, MSI dog approved. Excellent. All right, so, um, so these boards are a current source and it's programmable. So you can have five, five, 10, 15, 20 with a little jumper area there. And uh, yeah, so what are these two weird pads here for? Okay, so I had uh, one that I had built for myself, uh, hand wired, and I thought, well, that's so nice, I should, I should pretty it up into a PC board and then I can share it with other people because I think it's a nice, nice thing to have on hand. So let me show you what it looks like loaded up. Um, so these landing pads here, so these are, connectors out of some strange, or uh, pins out of some strange connector. And um, I don't have any use for that connector, but the, the, this nice big gold plated pins. So I soldered, I soldered them down. So now if you uh, take a device under test, I'm gonna have to find a, I'm gonna have to find a Zener diode to test, but uh, let me just show you how, how this thing works. Um, so the part would just lay here and then it would make contact on these two gold gold pads here. And I put a little cutout here so you can get your finger, you can get your finger in there to, to, to grab it, right? So anyway, so that's what it is. You just set it on there and uh, the arrows tell you which way the current goes, right? The current's going this direction. So you would put the zener pointing the other opposite direction. And then you put in the, uh, uh, some voltage on the input enough to turn on your zener and uh, then um, you can measure the zener voltage over on this side, okay? So let me go find some zener diodes and we'll measure some and see how it works. All right, here we go. So I've got uh, 20 volts coming in, okay? So that's my compliance voltage. So I can test zeners below 20 volts. And if I put the zener diode on the tester and just hold it down, it's a 5.1 volt zener diode, okay? And I have a program for uh, 10 milliamps right now. Let's move it to five milliamps and we'll test it again. And you can see it's 5.03. So there's a difference between five and 10 milliamps on the, uh, on the little tester here. And yeah, that one works really good. Let's test, a, let's test this guy out here. Let's see what he is. He's a big five watt jabber, 5.7 volts. So there you go. Um, it's a cute little tester. Let me show you that you can program this thing. So I am going to put the um, meter into milliamp mode. We'll measure some current, okay? And then I'll put one here, one here. And you can see that we're getting uh, I can turn this on here. Uh, we're getting a nine, we're getting 10. Okay, and that's because I have the jumper. If I remove the jumper, it goes down to five. 4.98, five, let me find another jumper. This should go up to 15. Put the jumper on. Uh, there we go, 15. And if I put another jumper on, then we'll get the full 20 milliamps. Oops. And there we go, 19.9, very good. Um, so if I go back to volts mode and uh, the voltmeter just attaches on this side, it's measured uh, VG and VZ. VZ is the Zener diode and the G is the, v, the Zener ground, okay? And then when we put my little uh, device in the test, we're getting 5.7 volt Zener. There we go, very nice. So anyway, I think this thing is really handy. It's very easy to use. Um, you can build it any way you want. Um, but I'm using those little uh, 
those little blo shorting blocks on uh, 0.1 headers. Uh, I can take these off. Normally I test, it, test things at 10 milliamps, so I'll just leave the 10 milliamp thing on there right now. Um, I did buy some 500 ohm resistors. So these are exactly 500 ohms, but you don't need to be accurate for this thing. You can get uh, 499 ohm resistors. That, they would be just fine. Um, and this one's not critical. It's a 10K. It's not critical of its value, really. Um, so there you go. Uh, I do think it's a, it's a cute little board and very, very handy. It makes great Christmas presents.